Sorry, dude, that was right in the face, wasn't it? <laughs> no, yeah, no worries. Oh, you got me right in the collar, man. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Operation Bridgehead. Today I'm using my custom made Canadian loadout with my VSR-10 and my Falcor Defense Blitz. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you like it, remember to leave a like and a sub. What are you seeing? Come here. See them by the tree. No, over here. You better look. There. Hey, see them? Eyes forward. Kyle? Can you try eyes forward? Yeah, those are blue. Yeah. Those They're are blue. blue. Yeah. Do you want me to? No, those are definitely within range. Do you want me to take shots of those guys or leave them? They're going to know we're here. They're moving this way. Okay, on three, ready? Get your guns up, get your guns up. Yep. Three, two, one, fire. There was, some got their hands up. Incoming! Are you coming? Okay. Everything was going so smooth, and then the mic turns off, it is, was all perfect. It every, everything went perfect. There was an intro, there was some video, and then I switched it right over to me sitting in my chair, and guess what happened? Nothing, because my mic was muted. Thank you, microphones, for doing your job. How's it going, everybody? Today, my name's Dayton, and we got some things to take out of a box, but I figured what's more fun than taking things out of a box alone in my house? Taking things out of a box alone in my house with strangers watching me. So, we got a couple of things. Number one, the big boy. We got a big old box from Aska. So that's a pretty cool one. I'm not going to sit it on my table because my table is glass and it's probably going to break. Up next, we've got another box from Aska that we've got to take out of the box. That's uh, in a box. We've got to undo that to it. We've got another heavier box from Aska, which is also cool. And then the final box the box from Novrich. Uh, we're going to find out what this is pretty soon. Uh, what what box you guys want me to start out with? What, the big box from ASG or the two little boxes from ASG? What are you guys feeling? What are you guys feeling? Say it, comment section right now. I have a live chat. I'm reading it. It's either got to be an insult or you tell me which box to open. Lots of boxes. Heavy. Oh, big. Okay, so people are saying... Little box. I'm seeing a lot of little box. Okay, let's just go quick. Get one of these little boxes open. Whoppa! With the power of a green screen, I can make these boxes float. That's a glass table and gonna smash if I do that. Never mind. Let me tilt the camera down a touch here. There we go. Okay, guys. Let's see what's in this box, shall we? Today I have a, bo a box cutter. It's, it's pretty cool. You use it to cut boxes open. Um, let's go in from the side that says my home address. I think that's a good side to go in from. There, are, You can always get a couple choices on sides to go into from people, right? And you always have to pick the most fun side. So I'm going to pick the side that shows you all of my personal information. Um, I can probably leave that it's an Airsoft product. All right. So ASG already sent me some BBs, and this looks a lot like BBs. So we're going to see what's in here. Whoopa! Did I just hit my computer chair with an exacto knife? Ah! That's no fun. Shit. Well, hopefully it's a big stack of money in here so I can buy a new computer chair. Oh, it's looking like we got some more BBs, baby! Holy sh... <laughs> holy. That's a lot of BBs. So these are more ASG BBs, and it looks like they're .36s. So that's good. Those are always good weight BBs. How many How many we got here? Let's make a little castle! That's, that's a lot of... holy shit, that's a lot of BBs. What's that, a thousand in each one of these? Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, so we've got a small wall of BBs. That's kind of cool. But there's a very similar looking box right over here. <laughs> Do we have any guesses? This one's heavier. Do we have any guesses? Guesses, guesses, guesses. We got a no, not the chair. Incorrect. I doubt there's a chair in here. Um, 
a great, great wall. <laughs> Inside this box will be a great, great wall. Uh, maybe, maybe the building blocks from it. Um, point fours, a pistol. Uh, are you ready, kids? I don't know. Are you, are you kids ready? Here we go. Let's do this. We're going to take... You know what? I'm going to get a different knife. Do you guys want me to get an axe? Or do you guys want me to get a, a machete? What do you think this box is calling for? Axe or machete? First one that I see. Oh, we got a dollar ninety nine. Oh, that was the tip. Machete. I'm seeing a lot of machete. Okay, let me go get my machete real quick. I'll get. I'll get an axe too. You know why? Why not? There's no such thing as too many pointy objects. Am I right? My favorite pointy objects from uh, Owen. We've got the machete, which is just a gigantic wooden knife. Pretty sick. Um, we've also got the sort of tomahawk throwing axe. This thing is sharp as heck. That's a pretty nice one. And then we have the very sharp, very spooky battle axe. Uh, what do you guys feel? Oh! Our main... Ah! Ah! Oh! oh, that was uh, the I tip! I say I'm a serial killer on live TV, okay? I would get in trouble. But yes, um, why don't I use, I'll use this one. I'll use this one for now. Let's cut this, let's get right through this. Whoop Whoop cut towards yourself for maximum safety. Very good. Very, hey, look, it's a hell of a lot more BBs. <clears throat> All right, these ones look like more point threes and point... Or point four threes and point fours. Yeah, that's a lot of point four threes and point <gasps> fours. Let's uh, let's continue this little castle we've built here, guys. Hoppa! Not today, my friend. All right. So we've got some babies. This is good. There's actually a really funny meme that came out. Uh, I did a uh, I did a video. Uh, <laughs> oh, the oh, 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 that was the tip. Who did this? Who did this? $1.99 through Super Chat. Huh. Okay. Oh, that's a, a, a $1.99 pounds. Yeah, yeah. Those are more than Canadian money. Um, so yeah, I was doing this review of Novrich BBs and stuff like that. And uh, if you put on the subtitles, it says something stupid like, um, I, I pull apart the, be the babies and there are no noticeable air bubbles instead of BBs. The auto, the auto thing th thought that I said babies. It's actually really funny. When I first saw it, I laughed quite a bit. Now that I'm saying it over again, it's not quite as funny as I previously thought it was, but I thought it's a good meme. Here we go, boys! We're going to the big box. The big boy. Um, which side has my personal information? This side. Okay. Let's, uh, let's de-box this box, shall we? I hit... Can, can we have a moment to appreciate the fact that I hit, like, right on that that line that was pretty damn sick like i'm no axe expert i am canadian i am no axe expert though and that was pretty damn close to the center and then i ripped her right across that was pretty sick if you guys need anything chopped you know who'd, who who'd come to all open okay i actually already know what's in this box because me and bob from asg have some plans of something we're gonna we're, we're, the video I'm gonna make. Here we go, boys. We've got some styrofoam. This is the best part, cause styrofoam makes a big mess, and then I get angry. Okay, here we go. M48-3 ASG. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Dayton, you already have one of those. You've already done a gameplay with one of those. What do you t what do you what the heck are you saying? Why do you have uh, why do you have a box with one of those in there? I know that's what you're thinking, because I'm you. And uh, and the answer is, shut up your face, okay? Uh, that was actually really rude. I'm sorry about that. But seriously, hold on a sec, okay? Because I don't have have two. I have three, all right? Now, you may be asking yourself right now as well, Dayton, well, two was already ridiculous. Why do you have three, Dayton? There's just no way you could do it. It's a bolt-action rifle. You might be able to operate two of those maximum. 
And to that I say, shut up your face again. Because um, ASG has sent me a bunch of uh, these sniper rifles because I'm going to be making my own custom house gamers double double bolt action rifle. And uh, I'm going to be doing a doing a, uh, a video with that. So I, I think that's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be a double double bolt action rifle. Uh, do you ever reply to my super chat? You remember your Steam log even when they're TTT games? Lagged even more than... Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, that was the I tip! from that far away. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba. Do you even reply to my super chat, you memer? Your stream lagged even more than your TTT games. Hey. Shh. <laughs> teach me to be memeless, papa. I, I don't know how to teach meme teach to be memeless. No, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, clean shot. I don't know what the heck, Axe Maniac, what do you see? I already told you I am a serial killer, clean shot. Come on, dude. Um, yeah, so these are the ASG M48-3s. I got some extra extra mags for them. Um, and my plan is I'm going to modify the stock here to fit two of these. So I'm going to take out... I'm going to take out the... Uh, the side the sides here and just mount two of them side by side so it's going to be like a double bolt action rifle kind of like that and then my plan is to modify the bolts so i don't have to pull up i just have to pull back that way i can set up a lever action to pull the bolts back um i think it's going to be really cool and if it is really cool maybe i'll make a couple of them and do a giveaway or maybe i'll just give away the one that way it's super exclusive you know but uh, yeah i think that's going to be really cool so if you guys like that, let me let me know, because I think that's going to be kind of sick. Um, anyways, I'm pretty sure all you guys are just here to see what's in the Novridge box. So we can head over to that, but you guys got to tell me what we're opening it with. I've got Machete, a Kiliax, and a Tomahawk. What are we using? What are we using, my dudes? What are we using? Okay, M48-3, I'll stop. Pop, pop that right there. Machete... Tony? Somebody said Tony? I'm using a Tony? Chainsaw. No chainsaws indoors. I did that once and my dad yelled at me. Okay? No more of that. Machete. Okay, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go machete. I'm seeing a lot of machetes. Alright, guys. The Novridge package. I'm pretty sure I know what this is, and I'm pretty sure you guys know what this is, but this is super cool because as far as I know. This is the only one of this thing, whatever this may be, in Canada. Because uh, we've been... Ah! Oh, no! oh, that was the tip! I can't tell who who did it. Who, who donated. Thank you for being awesome and keep slinging memes. Dude, I'm going to sling memes as long as... Ah! Ah! Oh, oh that was the tip! Oh, gosh. I can't see what... I can't see what it said. I can't... What what do I do? I can't read the su the super chats. It's not popping up. What in a heck? I lost your patch. Okay. Uh, live actions. No recent events. Okay. I lost your patch, but at least I still have your t-shirt, dude. T-shirts are better than the patches. They keep your body nice and moist. <laughs> okay. So yeah, as far as I know, this is the only one of these in Canada. Let's see. Let's see what's in this be be beast. Which side do we open it from? This side's already ripped apart, so I'm just going to do this part here. How does one use a machete? I don't, e I don't even think I've used a machete. Oh, we have 666 people watching. <gasps> Spooky numbers. Okay, let's see. What's... In that the box. One of these days, I am just going to take my arm off. I swear to to Jeebus, to Lord Jeebus himself. Okay. Big shout out to Owen for making these things. They're pretty. They're pretty hot. All right. Ooh, here we go. Okay, you guys can't see inside yet. First off, a new nozzle. For my SSG24. Please don't chop off your Mimi boys. Okay, I won't. There's a new new nozzle for my SSG24. I don't know why he sent one. Because I don't need one. But maybe I do. 
Thank you. Maybe he foresaw the problem. Ah! Oh! oh, that was the tip! Uh, next up, my favorite thing to see in boxes, uh, paper. This stuff is used for lighting fires. Uh, you can write on it. Um, you got a little bit of a bl uh, bloody nose. You just go, all better, bloody stops. Um, you can, did I say write on it? You can do that, such as those things. Those things such as those things. Uh, I'll keep that in a very safe spot. Okay, so up next, looks like we've got a adapter for, for the nozzle. A nozzle adapter for something. I don't know what it's for, but it's got threads. You thread in one side and it sticks out threads on the other side. That's interesting. What could that be for? Next up, we've got what looks to be some sort of a circle. I'm no expert at shapes, but that looks a little bit circular. I thought it was illegal to get rid of the orange ships. Not in Canada! Canada is the wild west of airsoft. Uh, ah! Yeah. Ah! Oh! oh, that was the tip! I don't know what that could be for. Um, next up is a leg holster. for Probably for the SSG-24. I'm figuring that's, that's what it's made of. Superior military standard materials. Honestly, what I'd expect from Novridge. Military standard. <laughs> Tactical gear... Uh, yeah, okay. So that's cool. I don't know what that's for. Um, there's some sort of a top rail type thing. I think that goes on the SSG-24 as well. That's kind of cool looking. Um, and then uh, looks like we have three SSG-24 gas mags. It's weird because it's a spring gun. So that's, that's weird because I would have expected it to not be a gas magazine. And then what looks to be my, uh, my SSG-24. The small version, small SSG-24. Take a gander at that box, my dudes. Look at that. Would you just look at that? It's got a fun little pattern on the back. If you're Russian, and not not the people Russian, if you're in a hurry, if you're Russian in a hurry, uh, and you need to grab this thing, just take a look at how slippery that is, right? So you go to grab it, and you go, whoa, where did it go? So what he did was he added a little bit of texture so that if you grab it like this, it's got some grip to it, and you can run, right? And it won't fly out of your hands. So really, he's he's thinking about ah! everything. Ah! Oh! oh, that was the tip! Schmeckers, will you be my meme boy? Uh, I'm everybody's meme boy. You can't buy my memes, okay? I, I cannot be purchased. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's take a look at this, shall we? Let's open it up. Uh, do you guys want to see? I suppose I should show you guys. Here we go. First opening of the SSG24 Compact. And it's in plastic. Okay, hold on one sec. Let me fix this. I have yet to open this. We're going to see what it looks like. Uh, can I, I'll just edit that bit out. Three, two, one. Whoa, it looks so pretty. It's black in a black case, so it really stands out really well. So that that's it, boys. That's the, that's the Novrich SS... P, what does he call it? The SSP-1. The Super Sniper Pistol 1. You have one choice for Super Sniper Pistols, and this is it. Let us uh, let me grab some gas, and let's take a gander at what she can do, shall we? How the hell am I going to get out of here? Uh, I can close that a little bit. Stretch back here. Got it, got it, we're good, we're good. Hey, found more BBs. Dude, there are BBs everywhere. One of the bottles broke. <clears throat> That'll be good right there. Sweet. Alright, let's take a, let's take a, a little testy diddle here. It's just a high cap. Well, we'll see if it's just a high cap. So I believe this is a green gas mag, yeah, because I asked for green gas. Let's fill her up a little here, and let's see how she performs. Now, I have a similar gun, um, and why don't I do a quick little comparison right now? Let me grab that. Um, this is the EMG and Evike. Ah! Ah! Oh! I can't oh, that was the tip. I'm away from it. What are you doing? Ah, what do you say? How much to get you to Toronto? Um flight i guess and a nice bottle of whiskey and then i i would do it uh so this is the salient arms pistol 
and then this is the Novridge pistol. Let's take a let's take a gander at some differences here. So you will notice they both look like 1911s. That's because I don't I don't know. Everybody seems to like 1911s. I much prefer like HK45 sort of looking things. They they feel good in my fingies. Um, so this is the SSG24 right here. SSP sniper guy one. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got a textured hand grip, but it's got the textured slide up here so you can grab it and pull it back because everyone knows airsoft guns are so hard to rack. Um, and then this is the salient arms ones. Also also textured, little grippy bits. Actually, these are even more grippy. Um, let's see. In interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Um, okay, so through the top there, as you can see, they look very similar. Let me let me pop an old lighterino over here. Oh my gosh, I'm so bright. <laughs> okay, so you can see the SSP, the SSG24 has that 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 twisty barrel that everybody seems to like for whatever reason. Uh, and then the inside, you know, this one's blue, but this one's red. You can kind of get a feel for quality there for sure. Um, they feel very similar weights. Um, this one feels like it has a stronger spring, actually. Hold on. Yeah, this one, oh, the salient almost feels like it has a stronger spring. Let me gas up the salient uh, gun here. And see how she goes. Actually, one thing I gotta, I gotta say already. How much meme could a meme memer meme? Well, a memer, a meme memer meme could meme as much as a meme could meme if a meme could meme memer. You know? Don't ask me. Um, okay, so mine is leaking because I threw this mag on the ground a whole bunch of times because of something I'm going to tell you right now. If you guys notice on the SSP24 here, um, the mag release is... <laughs> oh, 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 that bit. was the tip! It, it only sticks out a little bit. You see, see how like where where my thumb goes here? That that little mag release right there. It only sticks out a little bit. So when when you're putting it in and out in your uh, holster, it's it's a little harder to tap. The salient arms one. Holy, they think I'm like, I've never released a mag before because this thing sticks out like 30 meters, thir uh, 700 feet if you're uh, American. Um, but. Yeah, it sticks out so far, so whenever you put it in your holster, you bump that, and the mag just releases right out of it. Like, it doesn't take anything to release that mag. And so I've dropped my mag a million times and lost the bottom, and now it's go gonzo. Um, so let's take a test fire here, just without BBs, and sort of get a feel of them. So this, I'll shoot the salient arms one first into a box full of paper, and then this one. There's no BBs. Uh, my glasses are on, so don't yell at me, okay? Uh, so this is the Saline Arms one. Take a listen. Very quick, very snappy, a nice pop. This is the SSG24. Also a nice pop, but it has a weird cling sound to it, actually. Yeah, Salient Arms one, a lot more peppy. It goes like, ha ta 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 Whereas this one goes, ha ta 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 You know? It's a little, just a slight difference. They're still both going scrata, but uh, but this one scrata is a little harder than this one. Now, that being said, this thing is, a, is actually pretty damn heavy. This is as heavy as a, a, a lamb on a pork a hound on a pork chop. I remember hearing that in Blazing Angels, an old video game I used to play. One of the guys was in, in the plane, and he'd be like, he's flying the plane after the, the Nazi plane, and he's like, I'm on him like a hound dog on a pork chop. Don't know why I brought that up. Carrying on. Uh, so SSG24, I do like it. It's nice and light. Like, it's lighter than like a, like one of those, the Salient Arms one, at least. Um, but this orange tip, dang. Dang. This one's got an orange tip. This one came with an orange tip. I'm going to have to take that off because I got the new thread adapter. But um, yeah, so far, pretty pretty sick. Let me grab some BBs and let me shoot it into the forest. Ah! The ah! Oh! Right? oh, that was the tip. What about the patch? What do you ask me for this for? Should I try some three sixes in it? Seeing as how I have all these BBs with me, let's see if three sixes work in this pistol. The guy's name was Joe. 
sorry for falling asleep during Trailer Park Boys. It's okay. So, guys, if you guys don't know, um, sponsors. We have a exclusive sponsor stream once a uh, once a month. And last exclusive sponsor stream, we all played CS:GO together, which was a hell of a time. And then after that, we all just hopped onto Teamspeak and watched Netflix together, and had Netflix and chill with my subscribers. That was pretty gay. And you know, it's not nothing wrong with that, but. Meeting up with your buds that you've never met over the internet and watching Trailer Park Boys could possibly be one of the most fun things I've ever done. We we all had a couple drinks and we all laughed at Julian and those guys. It was it was a good time. It was a good time. Okay, let me open the old window hole here. All right. So you guys aren't really gonna be able to see this, but judge by my reaction how good it is. Okay. So if I go like eh, okay, then it's all right. If I go, whoa, it's pretty good. And then if I fall out of my chair and have a heart attack and die, I held the gun backwards and shot myself in the eye. Let's see how she goes. Uh, pretty good. Let me see if I can adjust the hop up here. I, I've, I haven't taken apart this gun yet, but I assume it is, takes apart in the same way that every other gun does. Um, Okay, so the hop-up looks like it's not even on that much. This might be able to lift some pretty heavyweight BBs, guys. Because it was flying pretty damn straight, and I haven't really adjusted it at all. It's, like, way down at the bottom. Okay, so let's... So the hop-up, if you guys can see, is a little rotary-style hop-up. You guys can't really see it, can you? Do you see right above that hole? Here, come on, focus. Yeah, there you go. See, see where it says hop? There's a little, there's a little rotary dial there. Let me see if I can reorient. My eyes look really blue. Wow. Um, there you go. Now you'll be able to see it. Focus. Focus camera. Oh shit! Did somebody just become a member? Oh shit! Oh damn! <laughs> okay, it's not gonna focus. Sun in a beach. But oh, there it is. Okay, you see it. You see that little circle there? That's what I'm spinning. So it was at zero, and now it's at like half. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see if that... See if she flies, or if she... Uh, cries. Dies. Flies. Doesn't fly. Nope, now I, gone, now I gone done broke it. How do you put things away? There we go. Okay, halfway. Let's see. Wow, actually, that's freaking far. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. <laughs> those flew. Th those are three sixes, and they were. Th it was thrown three sixes pretty damn far. I am going to have to say that is that is pretty okay. Who just we, wagon rider? That's a really good name, wagon rider. Thank you for uh, for sponsoring, my dude. He didn't. Will you please tell me that best gun for airsoft beginners? I really want to get into the airsoft, and you're the best one to tell me. I'm very much appreciate, and I'll give you meme. <gasps> I like memes. Um, Lancer Tactical uh, LT19B, probably the cheapest, best intro gun. I have a couple videos on it. If you search up house gamers. And then uh, Cheap Gun or House Gamers Beginner Gun or House Gamers Lancer Tactical, you'll see it. Um, played on CSGO with you and you didn't realize I wasn't a sponsor, so I spawned... <gasps> what? You done goofed me? You bamboozled me? Dude, not cool. Not cool. I just got razzle-dazzled. <laughs> you, you're so... You didn't get me any memes. Guys, never promise memes and not give me memes. That's like... Holding treats in front of a dog, and then not giving the dog the treats. Okay, now let me see how this is compared to the Salient Arms one. Just refresh my memory here. Yeah, the Salient Arms one is really peppy, but it doesn't have the accuracy. I gotta admit, this thing was shooting straight. Mind you, I've played a couple games with this, and I haven't played a couple games with this. This is brand new out of the box. Like, brand spank. You guys saw the box, I took it out, and then I repackaged it once, just because I forgot to take the plastic off. All right, there, sorry, there was plastic on it, and I had to take the plastic off, and then I repackaged it, and then I re-showed it to you. And it was doing fine. So, I don't... Huh. 
I do like how this comes with all the extra fandanglements that you can add on there. Let me put that on, actually. Let me put that top rail on and throw on a sight and just see what this looks like. You guys want to see that? Let's see how ridiculous we can make this pistol look, shall we? Welcome to Teching with Dayton. On today's episode, we're going to grazzle-dazzle a pistol. Let's, uh, let's open up this bag. So it looks like we've got ourselves a fancy rail. And it looks like it's going to be held together with uh, two, two screws on the bottom there. Uh, looks like they're Allen key screws too. Let me take take a look here. Yes, they are. Do I have the correct sized Allen key? I do. Look at me go. Okay, so let's throw that on the bottom. Take the mag out for extra safety. Never point a gun at somewhere that you don't want to shoot. And never put a mag in unless you want to shoot them. Always put the gun upside down for maximum accurate range. You see? Okay, so this, I think, goes on this way to over the back, just like that. But it would look extra cool if you did it like that, because then I can put a scope on it. So I might do that. But maybe I won't. I won't. I'll do this. <laughs> I gotta do a video with a scope on it, obviously. But I just realized that if I put it forwards, I'm going to have my eye nice and close, and I'm going to punch myself in the face with a pistol. And I don't want to do that. So, let's, uh, let's, re let's fandangle this together, shall we? So I'm, I'm just throwing the screws through the screw holes right now. And then I'm going to add in the little bit. Oh no, what did he do here? He made it so it's like a flathead on one side, and then the Allen key on the other side. So you have to use like two screwdrivers at a time. Navi boy, what are you doing, dude? Why you always gotta go make things complicated? Whoa, 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 whoa. How does that song go? I, I don't, I don't actually remember how that song goes. Okay, let's screw this up. Oh, I literally screwed it up. I threw it on the ground. Let me go. Throw that one in that side. Just like this. So I'm just throwing in these screws and then taking my Allen key and tightening them up. And then, let's put a scope on this and see how it looks, shall we? Alrighty. That's on there pretty tight. You can still get to the pistol bit to do pistol-y things. That's pretty cool. That that doesn't look too bad on there. Does not look too bad at all. And would you take a gander at that? The bottom of that rail still has that little rail bit where you can add more stuff to the rail. You can have a rail on a rail. Is one rail not good enough for you? Are you kind of guy who likes two rails? Well, guess what? With this expansive expanding rail, you can get two rails on your rail. That's an extra. That's a fifty percent, hundred percent increase in rail value. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Okay, let me grab a uh, red dot sight and a scope and see which one looks best on this. Okie dokie. So I will steal my red dot from this. You guys can't see what I'm doing. Just use your imagination. I am grabbing this and I twist it to remove it. And then I place it back on the wall. I grab this and attach this to that. And then I move to here, so that I can remove this from this. I like to keep this on my wall. Oh gosh, that's on there very tight. I need a screwdriver. Hello, everybody! Uh, also, yes, I usually talk to myself. It's not a weird thing, okay? There we go. Loosen that, loosen that. Very nice. Oh, she comes off so swiftly. Look at her move. All right. I've got the pieces of the puzzle. <laughs> Okie doke. All righty. Um, I'm, oh, is Minnie out of here? See you, Minnie. Okay, so let's start this off with an EOTech. See how she looks. It looks stupid. <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> Clearly, you have to use a little tiny red dot sight, because that looks meme-tastic. 
Look at that. <laughs> you could you can see Oh, where where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we got the green dot through there. Oh, it turns invisible because it's a green screen in the background. So yeah, I can I can definitely use a red dot. That looks not super stupid. But you know what's going to look super stupid? The sniper pistol. This thing looks badass already. Oh, I like this. Yeah, that's going to be fun. That's going to be a good time. Can you guys see down that? Oh, yeah. So here you, you guys can see now what I see through my scope. That's what That's what I see when I shoot people. I go, hey, how's it going? And then I wink at them, and then I shoot them. A bam! Chick -chick pow So, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, I should take off. You know what? I'm gonna just take off the orange tip. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna grab some wire cutters here, and I'm just gonna razzle dazzle this thing out of here. Come on! There's probably instructions somewhere in the box on how to remove the orange tip. I like to go for the sharp way. As you guys know, I'm an expert when it comes to knives, okay? So, don't even worry about me or my sanity. God. God damn. That's on there good. Okay, okay. We're making progress here. Hey, hey. There we go. She's out. Hey, look, it doesn't have an ugly orange tip now. Now it just looks short. It, do, it looks like it's missing something, you know? It just feels like it's, it's empty inside. Okay, let's uh, add in this thread adapter. Let's see if I can add a uh, silencer onto this thing. Oh, you know what? I would love to test... Wait, what? Is this not threaded? Guys. The tip is not threaded. What the heck? Novrich, what are you doing to me, dude? What the heck? Why would you do that? No, the orange tip's got no threads in it. What? And the the orange tip has none in it, and it wouldn't thread into the orange tip either, because it's the wrong it's the wrong size. Novrich, hello. That is so weird. Well, that's dumb. I want to put a suppressor on my gun. Why can't I do that? No, it's not reverse threads. Like seriously, there are, there is nothing. There's no there's no lines or anything in it. Like I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it's just It's just smooth in there. Come on. Maybe a little less light. Is that too much light for you? Can you guys see? It's just smooth in there. There's nothing. I don't know, but, but the tip. Look, the tip here is threaded. Can you guys see that? The tip is threaded to be put in there. No, it can't it can't thread over the inner barrel either. What a heck, Novrich. 
Man, that is weird. All right, well, I guess I'm just going to be using it like this for now. Um, what? WTF, Navi boy? So yeah, uh, other than that, I mean, accuracy and range-wise, this pistol is doing pretty damn okay. Um, but yeah, I, I, I actually kind of like it. I think I'm going to do a gameplay with this thing as my sniper pistol again. Uh, oh, flex tape. Yeah, dude. Oh, he just had to include some flex tape. Ew, what the heck? My bottle of ASG BBs came with a Oh, no, it's plastic. Okay. Dude, I saw this in the bottle of BBs, and I was like, can you guys, can you guys see at all what I'm holding? Can you... Can you see that? It's like a hair. It looks like a big, thick, black hair was just sitting in my bottle of BBs. Oh, that was that was disgusting. Anyways, I think that's uh, I think that's about it. I mean, we got the SSG 24 Mini here. We've got uh, the new ASG M48Threes that I'm gonna be putting together. Um, so far, I think this is pretty. I think this is pretty pretty hot. I think this is pretty hot. Really disappointed that I can't put the suppressor on this, but that's just the way she goes. Shoot the green gas can, no balls. Not in my room. I will do that outside, but not in my room. Anyways, thank you guys for uh, hanging around here. Do you guys want me to do, like, if you guys want, I can I can hop over to the gaming channel and I can maybe do some uh, a, a gaming live stream over there. That's just House Gamers Gaming. Pretty, pretty sure it's in the link in the description. If it's not, it's on the front page of our channel. Should I do that? Yeah? All right, maybe I'll play some of that uh, smut, 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 dirt. What is it called? Scum. Smut, scum, same thing. Uh, maybe I'll play some of that. Anyways, thank you guys for uh, for checking out the live stream and looking at me take some boxes apart. And then let's go play some scum, shall we? Let's, let's go do it. See what I mean? That would have hit me in the face if I put the scope a little farther back. Give it a little, little, little bit of... I put it on safe. That's pretty hot, and it smells a lot like gas. And that's probably really loud for you guys. I'm sorry. Anyways, let's hop over to the gaming channel. I'll see you guys in a, in a little bit. Um, otherwise, love your faces. Thank you for tuning in. I might even keep this live stream public afterwards. Who knows? Talk to you guys later. Toodles!